orcas for dummies. Yes. Hey, pal, pals. In today's video, we are going to be talking all about cleaning your Phalaenopsis orchid leaves, honey. So, I will teach you the three ways that I know how to clean a Phalaenopsis orchid leaf, darling. Stay tuned, pal, pal. To all of the new growers like me, you may be saying, well, why do I want to clean my orchid leaves or how do I clean my orchid leaves? First of all, washing your orchid leaves with a gentle cleaning solution, it will make them very, very happy, honey. Do you want to know why? Well, that's because orchid leaves need a healthy surface to absorb moisture and to allow them to breathe. Cleaning your orchid leaves removes residue buildup, such as hard water residue, fertilizer residue, dust, mold, mildew. You see it, fam, pals? All of that white substance, this is what we're talking about, okay? And just because you don't see it, it doesn't mean that it's not there, foul pals. So, it also helps to combat and prevent bugs, honey, especially scales, honey. So, y'all know orchids for dummies don't do the bugs. Honey, you want to know how to get rid of them bugs? I'm trying to tell you. Prevention is the only way. Stay tuned, honey. Stay oh, tuned. You truly, truly want to elevate yourself from being a subscriber and joining the YouTube Orchid Society and becoming a foul pal like me? Go to Facebook. Go to Facebook and join my Facebook group called Foul Pals, honey. I will leave that information in the description box below. Also, make sure to give this video a share because sharing is caring, honey. Stay starting tuned. Is. Starting first is going to be the detergent. You guys know I do not promote for free. However, I do believe Dunn is probably the only um, detergent that I would use or suggest that you use on your Phalaenopsis orchids. However, when you do use your Dunn detergent, try not to get the Ultra, okay? Because it has all kinds of additives. Now, I did have the sensitive kind or the one that's supposed to be good for Mother Nature. It's, it's clear. So, that's what you would typically want. But because I'm using such a minute um, amount, I do believe that it will be okay. After you add the drop of this detergent, go ahead and mix it up. A little dab of do you, a little dab of do you, baby. So I'm going to get a cotton swab and I'm going to go over the leaves, okay? All right, foul pal, stay tuned. Okay, so you wanna get you a cotton swab, some like this or a paper, clean paper towel, um, use a clean cotton swab and clean paper towel for each orchid that you use. Okay, foul pals? So I'm just going to dip it in the water like so. And I'm going to start with my mini. Okay. Now you want to make sure that as you are cleaning this, that you leave no water in the crown. Okay, foul pals? Make sure to get that water out of the crown. Also, make sure that you clean the bottom of the leaves. And while you are doing this, this is also an inspection. This is the best time to go ahead and make sure that your Phalaenopsis orchid shows no signs and symptoms of a fungal infection, no signs and symptoms of any type of bugs. Okay, foul pals? This is that one-on-one -on -one time, honey. This is that one-on-one -on -one time. So, yes, honey, um, this is what we're doing. Remember that I said um, we're having very low humidity. This is going to help your Phalaenopsis orchid absorb that humidity, okay? So, after you have um, gone over the orchid, I would suggest that you go back over it and dry it because you do not want anything to... Anything else to stain on your Phalaenopsis orchid? Yes, God, honey. Yes, God. Now, if y'all get tired, if this video get a little too long, y'all get tired of these long videos, y'all have to let me know. Y'all have to let me know. But, honey, I'm going on these other people's channels, and, honey, they got 35-minute video, and they ain't talking about nothing. So, I'm like, honey, let me get my watch time up. Hmm. Get my watch time up. 
but yes, foul pal. So, you can see for yourself. And like I said, uh, we're going to meet this time next week to do the results or for me to show you the results. For you to determine for yourself the results that you like the best or which one was more convenient. You see, fam pals? Nice and shiny. Nice and shiny. Yes, honey, her leaves have seen better days. She has seen better days. They were coming. So, they fam pals, I just wanted you guys to look at my new baby, honey. This is my new mini. I love a mini. And the reason why I love my minis is because they do so well in my kitchen. Anywhere in my kitchen, especially by the sink, honey, they do well. So, this is a regular size mini. This is my mini Rick L, honey. Look, honey, Uncle Rick is a big mini, honey, compared to this one. And that's why I got it. I have never seen such a small mini. Look at this little bitty old thing. Look at that. And it's in full bud. I thought that this would teach me um, patience because I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's going to bloom to be. But like I said, I trust that leaving it in the kitchen will... Um, leaving it in the kitchen, it will succeed. It's disgusting. Foul pal, your niece and foul pal, Ty, get your mind out of the gutter, honey. Because I can assure you that this is 100% mayo, honey. This is mayo. This is no other substance, okay? I had to put, Mama had to put her gloves on for this now. Normally, I don't wear gloves, but this is one of those occasions, honey. I had to get me some gloves. So, yes, um, I'm dipping it in the mayo, and so, I will tell you already that this is not one of my favorites. Now, it might be good on getting the bugs away from them, honey. Because I surely hope my phalaenopsis doesn't end up smelling like mayo and having my house smelling like mayo. Honey, no ma'am, that's not what the girls are looking for this season. Still no, dipping. Little dab of do you. And I'm... Um, you want to make sure you get all up in there. Let me take her out of here. And like I said, just want to make sure you check in the bottom of the pot, making sure no water or any bugs are at the bottom of the pot. You want to check all up and through here, honey. Make sure that we don't see any bugs, especially in those little crevices right here. Bugs love to go up in there and get their life. But I wouldn't know too much about it because, honey, after I went through it the first time, that's all they had to take with me, honey. Oh, no, ma'am. Honey, I was getting ready to throw all of these orchids away. Because, honey, I can't do bugs. I have a phobia. So, if you ever want to know how to scare the girl, honey. She's scared of bugs, honey. She's scared of bugs. Also, if you hear me referring to myself as a girl, that's just how gay folks talk. Okay? That's how we talk. I'm a man. I love being a man. Um... But this is for our entertainment, okay? The things that I have not done in this video as far as how you clean your phalaenopsis um, leaves. Getting them come in boxes. Getting them come in boxes. Let me know how you're cleaning yours. Let me know if you are cleaning yours. And let me know how often do you clean yours, okay? Those are some um, questions that I did not get answered in this video. So, we can get that done in those comment boxes, okay, Fab Pals? I felt so lonely on my last video. While it got a lot of views, or at least a lot of views for a new and upcoming channel, honey. The People's Channel. It um, did not get a lot of comments. So, I'm sitting at home. Y'all have to remember that the pur purpose of me doing these videos is predominantly just to have somebody to talk to about these phalaenopsis orchids because in my world, in the real world, and in my family members, they are not trying to hear it. And if you are um, just as passionate and in love with your phalaenopsis as I am, that's one of the main things that you want to talk about, honey. And don't mess around and get your orchid to rebloom, honey. Baby, we're going to be talking about us getting that orchid to rebloom for two, three years. So, if people don't want to hear it, you have to go and find people that do. And that's what the orchid community is all about, my dear. Going out and spreading the word, honey. 
We got orchid shows. I missed my orchid show today because my um, daughter, her, her teacher, um, did a home visit today. So I had to be at home and I had to miss it, unfortunately. But I promise you guys, I am going to start going to these orchid shows. I am going to be out here in the highways and the byways. Also, um, my uncle Rick L, honey, from Rick L Orchids, um, we have had death in the family. So please keep us lifted in prayer. Keep us with good thought, um, well wishes. And we just ask that um, you guys just give him time to get himself together because you know how it is losing someone in the family. You do not um, want to go out in public and just, you know, be kikiing. You don't want to do that. You want to sit at home and you go through those phases um, after someone passed. But we want to keep this an uplifting video, darling. So, but like I said, just go to Rick L. Orchids and just tell them, hey, Rick, thinking about you, we look, dang, did you see that? Oh, chicken shacks. Chicken shacks. I just split my baby leaf. I told you. I told you. God dang, ma'am. Okay, so last up on the list is going to be my personal favorite, which is the lemon juice. Now, the, the lemon juice get a lot of bad flack because a lot of people say that it's not economical. However, honey, all you need is um, not even one lemon juice. I'm only going to use half this lemon juice and the other half I'm going to put in the rest of my Kool-Aid. And good evening. <laughs> yes, honey. So, let's get that done, honey. Just give her a cut. Be careful. Everybody is not a skilled chef as I am. Okay? I'm trying to tell you, honey. Check out my video, How to Keep a Man, honey. How to Get More Orchids. And I will show you my secrets, honey. So, yes, um, just this little lemon right here and all of this water um, is going to be sufficient. It's going to be sufficient, foul pals, for all of my orchids. Now, I don't have 5,000 orchids, okay? We're not there yet. Okay, foul pals, so just mix it up. Stir it up like so. And as I said, we are cleaning orchid leaves today. So, I saved one of my dirtiest orchids, honey. Not to put her on blast like that, but I'm just saying that she has a lot of salt, a lot of salt residue. All of this right here, this is what you're looking for. Now remember that the Phalaenopsis, they breathe through their leaves. That means they're also absorbing, um, they're also absorbing humidity and the moisture in the air and the more dirt and salt buildup that they have, the less able that they are going to be able to do so. Okay, also, I want to get this baby to turn dark green for me. I want to start feeding her that magnesium sulfate foul pals, aka Epsom salt. Because when she gets a hold of some of that Epsom salt, then her leaves are going to start to get very dark and rich, such as my baby Blue. But all right, foul pals, let's get to cleaning this leaf because I know a lot of us got things to do, honey. A lot of things to do, but y'all can't say I don't make videos for y'all to go to sleep to now. Okay, fair pounds. So, getting to the nitty. Mm, I thought that was a bug right there. I was like, uh-oh, she got a bug. But it was just some dirt. But yes, I love my lemon juice and water. I think the lemon juice and water, it works and lasts the longest. But like I said, an update in a week from now. And if this video is old by the time that you reach it, shame on you. <laughs> but if not, I will leave a this, uh, um, link in the info card above once everything is done and said. Also, make sure to check out my um, How to Maintain a Phalaenopsis Basic Orchid Care playlist. That's going to be a playlist of all of my tips and tricks, okay? That's what people say, tips and tricks, honey. But if I would say anything, I would say make sure y'all check them comment boxes below, honey, because them comment boxes, baby, you always got somebody telling you good tea. Honey, my Uncle Rick L, honey, Carolyn from Jacqueline's um, Orchids, my auntie. We got my brother Todd, honey. Yes. Yes, honey, I'm naming family members. Because once you join the real Orchid community and not these YouTubers, honey, like Miss Orchid Girl, 
what you're going to do is you're going to find a family. You're going to find an orchid that fits your personality. And you're also going to find a family. Because as many of you know, the orchid community is very small. Very small. And so a lot of you be running, well, not a lot of you, but I have some um, subscribers that go running back telling Miss Orchid Girl everything that I say. Honey, you don't have to tell her because, honey, she watch my videos more than I do. I, every time I go looking at my thing, honey, Romania, Romania. Honey, who I know in Romania? Who watching my videos in Romania? But girl, yes, honey, yes. Yes, honey, yes. We is doing the thing, honey. We is doing it. But yes, Fat Pals, um, as you can see, look. I mean, it just gives it such a natural look. Now, you saw when I did it with the mayo, and it was all greasy and stuff. Honey, people gonna be thinking my work is too fake. Now, it might help with the bugs. I'm not sure. But I know the lemon juice help, helps with the bug because the smell of it. The smell of it makes the bugs want to say, no ma'am, Pam, no ma'am. <laughs> oh, Lord, honey. Y'all is so silly. Y'all are so silly. But do not get mad, honey. Do not get mad. And also, honey, it's going to be a repotting video coming up for all the girls that like going to sleep to the YouTube videos. But typically, I'm trying to make orchids fun again, honey, which means that I'm trying to let everybody else know not only in the orchid community, but in the YouTube community, that the orchid community is the place to be. That we have people from all different kinds of cultures and backgrounds. Um, everybody is such a nice person. Even Miss Orchid Girl, you might hear me say so many things about Miss Orchid Girl, but at the end of the day, like I said, I respect her. Um, and I think that she's a cool person as far as her work ethic. Now, is she good with subscribers? Absolutely not, honey. She don't have time for no damn subscribers. And I've seen people, um, people from five years ago, honey, on her old videos, still waiting for a response. So, but that's not what I want to emulate. That's why I tell you guys, join my Facebook group, Foul Pals, honey. You guys, we will keep it up. And we talk about more than just our Phalaenopsis orchids. If you got something going on in your personal life and you feel comfortable enough to share it with us, go ahead and tell us. If your baby graduating from college, let us know. We happy for her, okay? Because a happy person is going to give you a happy orchid. Okay, fam pals? That's going to be a tip and trick, honey, that I have not heard anybody else say. But alrighty, Fab Pals, so we are going to close it down. I just want you to see the proof in the pudding. You be your own judge. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful and clean. And it's like, you see that she kind of opened up. Um, a nice little tr um, tip that my Auntie Jacqueline told me, or my Auntie Carolyn told me from Jacqueline Orchids, is going to be that at nighttime is when your orchid is most receptive um, to receive humidity. Um, she was saying something about the stomata, honey, something, honey, it's technical. Something technical in the orchid um, op opens up and starts to um, do that gas exchange that we are all looking for. Anywho, well, foul pals, I thank you so much for tuning in. I thank you for spending your precious time with me. Like I said, sharing is caring. So go ahead and share this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, honey. And until next time.